Hundreds more people would have been killed in the Texas church shooting if America tightened up its gun control laws, Donald Trump has claimed The U.S. president said the slaughter could have been much worse had an armed member of the public not been able to get their own gun and shoot dead killer Devin Kelly Asked during his South Korea visit about whether there should be extreme vetting for gun purchasers after the Texas shooting, Mr. Trump said, you might not have had that very brave person who happened to have a gun in his truck and shoot him and hit him and neutralize him And I can only say this dot if he didn't have a gun, instead of having 26 dead, you would have had hundreds more dead So that's the way I feel about it. Off the comments suggest Mr. Trump will not try to force through new gun laws in the wake of the fifth worst mass shooting in American history. 26 people were murdered when Devin Kelly attacked the First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs, a small rural town in Texas. Texas church shooting survivors have been recalling the horrific way the shooter went over to crying babies and shot them at point-blank range Rosa Solis and husband Jacqueline Ramirez survived the massacre on Sunday in which Devin Kelly shot dead 26 people and wounded 20 Mrs. Solis remembers how at first the gunman had fired from the outside and then entered the church in Sutherland Springs After an extended moment of silence, Kelly shouted, everybody dies, mother f The killer first targeted the camera and audio crews, according to the couple. Every time he heard crying children, he would walk over and shoot them at close range, they added. It has also come to light that Kelly had previously escaped from a mental hospital in New Mexico. He had been institutionalized after beating his then wife and her child in 2012 while stationed at Holloman Air Force Base But he was able to escape to Texas in 2012, according to documents uncovered by local media The RAF veteran was decked out in tactical gear, wearing a black face mask featuring a white skull, according to authorities Bullets from his military-style Ruger Arkansas 556 rifle flew overhead as Mrs. Solis played dead under a bench I saw bodies with a lot of blood, Mrs. Solis told ABC. That's all I saw because I wasn't about to get out from where I was hiding In another ABC interview, she added, everybody was so quiet. You could only hear the sounds of the bullets and people screaming and people crying, Mama, where are you? Mama. Ramirez told how he made eye contact with a terrified 14 year old daughter of the pastor before she was killed. I was praying to go to save me because I could see death. Ramirez said. He crawled out amid the gunfire and called 911 just before 11. 30 a.m. The couple said it felt like an eternity for help to arrive, so they drove to hospital. The Lord saved me because I know it was my last day, Sola said. The congregation ranged from 18 months old to 77 years old and included an estimated 25 children. Kelly was wounded by a hero resident when leaving the church and then killed himself following a car chase. A version of this story appeared on news.com.au We pay for your stories. Do you have a story for The Sun online news team? Email us at tips at the sun.